to the snowplow show this is episode 643 and today is june 30th 2020 holy shit my voice is echoing isn't it i'm in a completely empty room except for this desk that i'm sitting at so i guess today's show is going to be a little bit echoey probably anything i do this week is and that's the fault of Kraz, ryan b the real crazy Kraz, Sean S, and Jared M. They're the sponsors of today's show. Thanks all of you for supporting the show and not giving up on me these past couple weeks. While I haven't been doing shows, I've been traveling across the country and then just not having a whole lot of time. So thanks everybody for not completely hating me for that. I appreciate it. I'm very fragile. Thanks for being nice. I have a very important announcement today. I like PP in my mouth. Ann Bum is the latest person to sign up on Patreon. Also, Daniel L., Cheap Cunt, Alex B., Austin M., Marja, Anthony S., Crathulis, Martin H., Brady B. There's actually a ton of people in here because it's been forever since I've read the new supporters and there's just this giant list at this point. So I'm probably not going to read all of them here. Let me try just real quick. A few of them at least. Yule 514, Christian K, Travis H, NSFW, My Hey M, Ryan H, Hootis Tigglebits. Hopefully that's not your real last name. Sorry if it is. I just read it on the air. Brian, Thomas, George W, and a bunch of others that I'll read on the next Snowplow show. There's just too many of you guys. Thanks, everyone, for signing up. I don't mean to complain that too many people are signing up. I have kind of shitty news, and that is that New Project 2 is going away forever. That's the alternative that I use to Patreon, is New Project 2. And thanks to them being around, I felt confident enough to just close down the membership thing on my own website. But now, guess what? They are quitting forever. It's not their fault, it's just the banking industry as a whole, I guess. He was trying to make a free speech type Patreon, but he found out that that's not really allowed. The banks will just shut him down if he tries to support people that have the political beliefs or whatever. So New Project 2 is just going to disappear in the next month or two. And if you're a supporter on there, then you should probably just leave and hopefully switch over to Patreon. I'm going to try and come up with another alternative because a lot of people hate Patreon for some reason. So my other options are Subscribestar. I think there's like several other Patreon competitors now. If you have a suggestion for one, please leave it in the comments or email me or whatever. But Dick from New Project 2, he suggests subscribe star but then he also suggested s2 member which is what i use on my website and i hate it so how can i trust dick masterson's opinion subscribe star is probably a piece of shit i was on devin's show last week i'm only saying that so i can play a couple clips from my calls devin does a show every wednesday evening and i think i have two clips here i wrote down the timestamps. let me see if i can find them whoa there says she wanted Hello? to change his seat. hey yes what's she doing uh, who is this? This is Brad Carter. How are you? I'm calling from AT and T. Um, uh, I needed to let you know. Um, you know, we saw this problem you had on your account. This yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep tweeting until you guys figure the situation out. Oh no, no, I'm, I'm calling to help. Good. Okay. Well, you don't have to be rude about it. I'm, I'm just calling to help. But how can I help rude. you? Rude. Well, no, I mean, sir, I'm not being rude. What's kinda, rude is that I've spent 10 hours of my life on the phone trying to resolve a situation that's very simple to resolve. But w- what would you have been doing otherwise? Probably just watching <laughs> TV or something, you know? Who's being rude now? Well, no, I'm just, I'm being honest. The difference, I'm, like, really, like, been, tell, tell me what you would be doing as, with your life that's so damn important. Are you fucking serious? Yes. I'm a lawyer, dude. I would have been billing $200 an hour no. instead of spending my life on the phone with AT&T. That, Is this the kind of customer service that you're going to give me? Honestly, that I'm having a hard time believing that 
you're a lawyer. Really? Yeah. Good. Because I mean, good. Just... Good. Come come down to Louisiana when I file a lawsuit. Oh, you're in Louisiana. You can... Okay, you're a lawyer then. I believe it now. Fuck you, you asshole. No, I'm, sir. I'm I'm calling to help. So that was one clip. It looks like I wrote down a bunch of timestamps here. We called him back ten minutes later. I'm not going to play that one because it's longer, but I have this other one here, which is later in the show. I think at the very end of the show, let me scroll ahead, is what Devin likes to do is if she gets bored with a prank call, she just uh, puts Lenny on the phone with him. And if you don't know who Lenny is, that's like an automated robot thing that people will talk to, and it sounds like a just rambling old man. And they try to talk to him, and then they get confused. It's kind of fun to listen to, but I guess her Lenny bot wasn't working. So I think she was giving me the cue to just go in and pretend to be Linny. Let's see, where is it? I mean, the whole experience was really crappy. I mean, I hate to complain that. It's the first time ever in my life that I've had brand Mm -hmm. new, you know, uh, appliances. And I'm in my 60s. So it was a big deal, you know. Um, The refrigerator, the person, the salesperson ordered the wrong size. So... Ma'am, the refrigerator. ma'am, yeah. I feel like this yeah. might be a little above my pay grade. Let me see if I can get my um, supervisor, Lenny, on the phone. Um, okay. So we sure. can handle this. Sure. Len- oh. Lenny? This is Lenny. This is Lenny. Oh, thank God. Lenny, I need you Hello. to I need you to help this lady with her issues. Ma'am, what's your name? Kathy. Kathy. Yes. Okay. That reminds me of my eldest daughter, Marissa. She uh, graduated from the university with distinctions. That's wonderful. Congratulations. Don't don't patronize me. I'm sorry? Don't don't patronize me. I mean, I was just trying to talk about my daughter, my eldest, Marissa. And you're over there just being being like, oh, that's so interesting. (laughs) You know, I was just trying to help. I was just, you know, I'm the second level supervisor here. I was just trying to come on and help you do your shit. And and you're over there being a total bitch. Who are you? You're a supervisor? And you talk to a customer this way? Who did you pay to get your job? I told you who I am. This is Lenny. Well, you're a fucking jerk. You know that? Oh, oh, I'm the jerk. You know, I was just trying yeah. to help. Well, what have you done? What have you helped with? Absolutely nothing. Well, you I just said that that was wonderful <laughs> that your daughter graduated with the <laughs> You didn't really let me help, did you? You know, I tried to help. Wow. You're, you're, you're a just fucking crazy. dick. What a fucking dick. Yeah, listen to yourself. No, no wonder everyone's a dick to you if you're going to act like that. So those were my two favorite clips from Devin's show last week. You know, the parts that I was on. And I played them on here, so now you don't have to go listen to Devin's entire show. Because why would you want to do that when I can just play him on here and save you the hassle of having to go over to her Mixler at Mixler.com slash Devin Anus Tart or on her Patreon. But I'll put links in the show notes if you want to go listen to the rest of that show. It's been a while since I've had the time to get on anyone else's show, so that was kind of fun. I think that might be it for the announcements. Let's get started with today's show. I'm going to do some calls, I guess, today. If I can get all my audio shit working, I've been having nothing but problems since I've been here. So let's see if all this stuff works. And really, I'm sorry about the audio issues. I noticed them on the last show. Everything sounds just a little bit distorted. I'm pretty sure it's not my fault. I think this mixer is just going bad or something. I don't understand what the problem is, but let's give it a try. Hello? Hi, Scott? Yes. Hey there. It's Dave from the city of... Uh, I was calling to let you know um, there's going to be some workmen out there tomorrow. They're going to start digging a hole in the middle of your yard. Uh, they're going to be putting a manhole in the middle of your yard. So, Why is uh, that? I'm sorry? Why is that? Uh, you know, it's just for some, some pipes that are underground. They're going to put an access point, And the only place we can really put it is right in the middle of your yard. So, uh, yeah, that's you, you should have got a letter about that. That's going to start tomorrow. So, I'm kind of lost here. Hmm. Uh, what about my sprinkler system pipes? Uh, what about all that kind of stuff? Oh, if we if we break into those, uh, you know, you'll just have to reroute them. 
we'll, we'll we'll try to be careful though. Like if you could just spray paint where they are, maybe we can. Hopefully, I mean, I, I, I don't know where they are. There's a specific spot, uh, you know, where, where we have to dig the hole, though. Yeah, I, I got but, a question for you. How can I fight this? This sounds like stupidity to me. Well, no, it's we we just need access to the, the underground, uh, you know, I, drainage I, I systems. I, I don't I don't like being called twelve hours before something's going to happen to my property and telling me you're going to come dig on my lawn. Well, it's more like twenty four hours. It's it's just. They're going to be there around uh, 9 tomorrow morning. It's going to be a, a work crew, city work crew. They're let, me just... get your, let me get your name and number because I am not. I don't think like this is right. Sir, the, the, manhole cover, the manhole cover is going to be green, so it's not a big deal. They painted it green. I'm not real. I'm, I, I couldn't care less if it's bright purple. You're coming to my property, Okay. You're telling me you sent me a letter, which I don't know if you did or didn't. Well, I wouldn't lie. And I'm just supposed to just bow down and say, oh, come on in and tear up my property? Well, it's not really your choice or anything. It's, you know, it's the city's property. We're just, we're just going to be put, digging a hole. It's just a man, it's like an access thing. You're going to have work crews stopping there occasionally to go down and just take care of problems. You know, like we get those fat bergs sometimes. Because pe- people are old, well, people are always flushing uh, wipes down the toilet, wet wipes, like idiots. Do you have a so, picture of something what I'm supposed to expect? Uh, well, have you ever seen a manhole in in the ground that work crews are crawling in and out of? They put that big yellow tube down there. Um, I can't say that I have. So where is this supposed to go? Are you, fr- are you from Earth? Have you ever been outside before? Oh man. <laughs> He didn't like that. That guy has never seen a manhole cover before. So that's pretty much my plan for today, doing the old, we're going to dig a hole in your yard, except this time we're going to be sexist about it. We're going to call them manholes. And this was an idea, I mean, sort of by Choli Du in the Phone Losers Reddit. He reposted this thing that somebody else posted in some other subreddit. Looks like it was uh, uh, slash real estate. And this guy's pissed off because he got up in the morning and there was a big manhole in the middle of his yard. Like right next to his sidewalk. It's a big ugly brown manhole thing. There's a bunch of rocks around it. And it looks like he's in an uppity neighborhood. So thanks for this, Choli Do. I think I'm going to make that the uh, show art for today's show. Is this guy's manhole in the middle of his yard. And if you're not from planet Earth and you've never seen a manhole cover before, it's basically a big round piece of metal that's in the ground. You can pull it up and climb down in there. You don't even need a special tool to do it, really. You can just pull it up with your fingers. I suggest everyone does that and climb down in them and explore. Go wade around in sewage. It's fun. I've done it. And once again, I'm calling from a list of Frankies. Thank you, Frankie. And I have my uh, callback phone number here. So once that guy figures out that that was a prank, he's going to call me back. I mean, that's the dream anyway. You know, on my last show, I didn't get any callbacks. I didn't get any voicemails. So I better today or I'm going to be so annoyed. Well, it's Dennis. Oh, hey, Dennis. Yeah. Uh, this is Steve Dave from the city of... Okay. I, I just called to let you know that um, we're going to be installing a manhole cover in your lawn tomorrow morning. The work crew is going to show up. So that's going to start about 9 in the morning. You probably got a letter about that. Did Maybe. not. Oh, yeah. You probably threw it away. You probably thought it was junk mail. But, yep, they're going to start on that tomorrow. The work crew is going to just be digging a hole right in the middle of the front yard and install an access hatch down into the drainage system. A manhole cover. Yeah, you know, like one of those big metal, metal, uh, really heavy things that work crews can climb in and out of. It's just an access point. For which, for, okay. Because at the property line between ourselves and the adjoining neighbor to the west, there's a manhole cover there. Yeah, this one's, uh, it's, that one's for communications, I think. This one's going to be more for, uh, what? Did you say something? Yeah, I'm pretty sure the one that's over there is for sanitary. Yeah, but do you work for, are you a utility worker? No. Okay, so why don't you just shut your mouth? 
It's going to be first thing tomorrow morning. About um, They might start showing up at 8. Uh, they're supposed to start digging at 9. So it's just going to be a hole straight down, and it should take no longer than three days. Um, why our yard? Uh, that's, I'm just I'm curious. That's just the best place. You know, the pipe, the, the big tunnel, it runs uh, under several houses, and yours is the only one where there's an easy access point in the front yard. Like right in the middle of the front yard. They're not. So you got the right house. I'm just. I'm just curious because. Oh yeah, your uh, one zero z- drive. Yep. Yep, that's the one. So I'm looking at a sanitary sewer cover. Handle. Yeah, but you know sometimes they reuse those. There's probably probably a bunch of you know fiber optic lines down there. They do that to throw off the uh, the vandals because a lot of people think that fiber optics uh, cause coronavirus. You know they'll they'll go down they'll they'll go down there and set those on fire. People are weird, fucking conspiracy guys. Um, so main holes are typically like at the property line. Why the middle of my front yard? I guess that's what. Oh, I'm that, that's about. that's just where the tunnel is. Uh, that, that's just the easiest access point because there's you know there's. Uh, structural things right around the edge of the property and it's just the way it works out like it either has to be like right in the middle of your yard or we have to tear up your uh front sidewalk and put it there and i bet you don't want that well i'd, re- I'd rather not have it in the middle of my yard frankly well we're gonna so. we're, we're gonna paint it green so you won't even notice it i'm still gonna have to mow around it right it's gonna be it's gonna stick up above the the grade it seems like you're just being negative about everything i would look at it like i have less to mow I don't have to mow as much grass. I'm going to save money. Okay. I don't, yeah, I'm not. Try being positive for once in your life. <laughs> oh, holy shit, man. I can't believe you're saying these things to me. Well, you're being kind of a little I bitch about the, the whole thing. Yes. Your name is? Uh, I told you. It's Steve Dave. Um, what, yeah, what kind of phone are you on? I mean, you just pretty much just sound like garbage. Well, that didn't seem like a thing that he should hang up on me for. I don't think he even heard me say garbage. Maybe he knew the name Steve Dave. He's like, wait a minute. That's not a real name. That's from a movie. Hello? Hi, Lawrence? This is? Hey, could you put that wife of yours on the phone? What? I, I'm calling from the, uh, the city of... Can you put that wife of yours on? The what? That wife of yours. Okay. Who is this? Uh, this is Steve Dave from the city of... Okay. I just need to talk to that wife of yours. Okay. Well, why don't you call her phone? Uh, well, this is the phone number we have for her. Okay. And can I ask what this is in regards to? Ah, uh, no. It's between me and that wife of yours. Okay. Well, good for you. What do you mean good for me? So if you- Good for you. What are you talking about? Yeah, good for you. That doesn't make sense. What's good for me? I I don't know. So what can what can what can we help you with today? Uh you can put that wife of yours on the goddamn phone. Please. Seriously, dude. Please. Seriously. What? What what'd you what'd you say the name was again? Uh Steve Dave. Steve Steve Dave Sir, is that wife of yours there? No, she's not. Okay, that's all you had to say. That's all you had to say. Didn't have to turn into a big thing, you fucking weirdo. No, you turn it. I'm sorry? I said you're a fucking weirdo. You know, I, I just, you oh. could have said sorry. She's not here right now. I'd be like, okay, okay thank well, you. I'll try back well, later. Don't call back later, dude. Seriously. No, I need to talk to that okay. wife of yours. No, seriously, don't call back later because here's what's going to happen. I'm going to find out who the fuck you are and where the fuck you're calling me from, and I'm going to come and beat your motherfucking ass. How's that? I told you who I am. It's just, it's personal business between me and that wife of yours. Okay, well, you called me from Do me a favor. Why don't you come on over then? No, I'm I'm working no, today. No, 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 I'm, no, I'm, no. I'm, I'm working. I'm working right now, too. So do me this favor. Oh, you don't even have come a over. job. You're right. You're, you're right. I don't have a job. But like I said, just come on, just come on outside. We can handle this shit in person. So, so what, what do you mean? On the what, what do you mean then that we you're working? We can handle this shit in person. We can handle this shit in person. Okay. What, wh- why'd you say you're working if you don't have a job? Because I'm talking to your dumbass. 
Oh, there's your wife. There's that wife of yours. No. No, I heard her. I heard her. Go put her on real quick. Did you? No. Come on, you you don't have a job, so just pretend you're you have a job as her secretary and put her on. Okay, but seriously, where are you calling me from, so I can, Look, I'm, I'm, I just so need to talk to that wife of yours. Do you? Yes. Okay. Well, why don't you call her phone there? Okay. What's the number? Hmm. What's the number? It's, uh, seven five 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 one two one three. One two one three. Oh wow, you mixed yeah. it up there on the end, didn't you? I did. Yeah, I that, did. that's a good one. You're like. <laughs> You're like, man, I'm really going to throw him off. I'm going to change the last yeah, digit. Yeah, I'm going to throw your dumb ass off. But like I said, if you want to talk. She's talk right there. Her, just just put her on. Put put that wife no, of yours on. You heard, no, you heard, you, heard, you heard my kid. Bullshit. You talk, you Bullshit. Talk, no. You want to talk, talk to my kid now? Not really. Why you're would you put your. Weird, no, you're the fucking weirdo. Why? Because you want to put your kid on with a, a prank caller? No. I think that makes you the weirdo. Oh, okay. Well, like I said, I just needed you on the phone long enough so I could figure out where the fuck you were calling me from. But uh, thank you, though. I appreciate it. Oh, did you figure it out? Where am I? Hmm? Where, where am I then? You're not local. You're, you're not local because what you're doing right now, you're not local. Let's just say that. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, but but where am I? You said you figured it out. Where am I? Well, you'll find out when we meet. Okay. Uh, yeah. Which which uh, equipment did you use to triangulate my position? Did you hang up? Oh, yeah. You hung up. Crap, everyone, I'm in trouble. That guy's going to get me. Hello, this is Jim. Hey, Jim, this is uh, Steve Dave from the city. I was calling call to let you know we're going to be putting a... They're going to be digging a hole in your yard um, on tomorrow, it looks like. Tomorrow at 9 a.m., there's going to be a work crew. Who out is? There. I'm sorry, what? Um, who's going to be digging a hole? Uh, AT and T. They're going to be putting some communication line access tunnel oh. right there, right in the middle of the yard. Okay. I mean the the tunnel is already under there. They just have to put an access hatch, you know, with the manhole cover and everything. Didn't know anything about it. Oh, okay. Well, now you do. We sent you a letter, or they said they sent you a letter. I. Uh, don't recall any such thing. Oh, okay. Well, there's going to be some city working worker trucks and some AT and T trucks, just digging holes and installing a. It's going to be like an oversized manhole cover right in the middle of the lawn. You should have received the hmm. uh, the blueprints in the mail. And what address are you calling? Um. Oh, it's it's uh, the one zero one lane. My address. Uh, yep. Just a second. Honey, did you know that AT and T was going to be digging up the yard tomorrow? No. No, we've not got anything like that. My wife hadn't got a letter. I haven't got a letter. Oh, you probably just thought it was junk mail. She just learned to check her mail better, I guess. But yep, tomorrow morning about nine, the trucks are going to start arriving and digging that hole. It shouldn't take more than a couple days. And it's going to be like a, you know, oversized, you know, like, like people are going to be able to go down there occasionally and, you know, they're going to bring trucks in and have those ventilation tubes. Well, I'm going to check on this because no one's told me and I'm really not too interested in having that down the yard. Okay. Well, it's going to, it's, it's going to be nicer because you won't have as much to mow. Uh, like I said, I'm not, I don't think I want this at all. Oh, okay. Well, no, I'm not calling to ask your permission. It's just, you know, they, they need an access hatch there for the communication lines. Well, you all do what you have to, and I'll do what I got to. Okay. Uh, I do appreciate the call, though. They're also going to put an extra street light on, on top of it, just, just to make sure uh, nobody vandalizes it. Because, you know, you got those crazies trying to cut the lines and stuff. So we got to... You know, just, your, just your, hold on for a your front yard's going to be extra secure, basically. Okay. Let me ask you, why are you wanting to come in and dig up the yard? Well, I, it's not that I want to. AT and T as a you know as a corporation, they're they're, want, they're they're gonna come and do it. It's you know it's just so they have access to the fiber optic lines below your house. 
I don't want anything to do with AT and T. Okay. Oh well, no, you don't have to use AT and T. You can go ahead and keep using your slow internet. It's just uh, they're going to have an access hatch in your front yard. You th- you think I should some- what? dig up the part of the front yard? I'm sorry, you cut out there. What was that? I said you are they expecting us to say it's okay to come in and dig up part of our front yard? Yes, of course. We've no. never received a letter. We've never received anything. Yeah, but that's where the communication like there's a communication tunnel underneath your house. It goes under the whole city. <coughs> and uh that that's just you know, they don't have a an access point nearby. And they're tired of having to walk all the way over down the tunnel to under your house. So they're just gonna Is that my problem? We pay a lot of money to have our landscaping done. Okay, well now you have you get to pay less because there's going to be less to do because there's going to be an oversized manhole cover right in the center of your front lawn. No, there is not. Oh, yes, there is. We're going to paint it green, so it's going to look nice. Oh, yeah, that really is going to look nice. I agree. Thank what, you. What time? Are, no, it's going to look like. What time are they going to be here? Like what? I'm sorry, you cut out there. What time are they going to be here? Uh, about 9 in the morning. There's going to be AT&T trucks and city worker trucks. Why do you think I want a manhole in the middle of my front yard? Uh, well, it's it's not for you, so you don't even have to worry about it. You can just pretend it's not there. It's a yard. What do you not understand? I own this property. I know that, but, you know, sometimes you got to just, uh, you know, let us use our easements and... And, and, you know, have progress with communication lines and stop trying to hold back uh, the, the future. Well, let me tell you, I retired from AT&T and I cannot stand this company. So basically, you're yeah. part of the problem. Well, I probably am part of the problem. You're absolutely right. And all the jobs going over to, uh, overseas, absolutely. Well, the, these are like American workers coming to your, your yard. Yeah. And you shouldn't hate on the foreigners. You know, the, fo- the foreigners need jobs, too. Probably more than us. <clears throat> okay. Where's the letter that I was supposed to receive? I don't know. You probably just threw it away with the junk mail. No, I did not. You probably did. I you definitely pr- go through every bit of my mail. Yeah. You, you don't open every piece of junk mail, though. Yes, I do open every piece of mail. Okay. I'll be honest with you. AT&T designed the official letter that you were supposed to receive to look like junk mail so you would throw it away because they didn't want you to no, try and stop No, I don't throw them. it away. I open everything. So you tell me where the letter is. I don't you know. Give me a letter sent out. Huh? May- maybe you should clean your damn house and you'd find it. Can I have your name? This is Steve Dave. And I don't know if your husband told you, but we're also going to be putting a street light. What is, what is your name again? We're, uh, this is Steve Dave. We're going to be putting a street light right above the manhole cover. For extra security. So you're, okay, and what is your ID, your employee ID? 618314. So your your front lawn is going to be extra secure now. I have lights in my yard. I do not need yours. Well, no, so these where are... Do I call to file a, these are <clears> where do I call to file a complaint against you? These are going to be overly bright lights, like really bright, just because there's a lot just of... Just what I want in my bedroom. No, not call in your bedroom, not in, in the yard. And the light is going to shine in my bedroom. Close your damn curtains. They are closed. See, the- Where can I call to file a complaint against you? Because you're very inconsiderate. And the way you're talking to me is totally non-professional. You have been talking to me the exact same way. So I'm just giving No, it- I told you I did not want it in my yard and I never received a letter. And you said, well, you don't open all your junk in the letter, do you? And I said, yes. Well, you better clean up That's your true. house. Well, you, you think that's the way you should speak to me? Well, what number can I file a complaint against you? Because I've about had it the way you've spoken to me. Maybe instead of complaining, you should clean up your damn house. I want a number that I can call. It's on your caller ID. Wonder- it's it's the, this is the main the main number here at the with the city. Just call it <clears throat> and tell them Steve Dave. My name is Steve Dave. Oh, absolutely. They don't. They don't like well, me there anyway. I cannot believe that you would tell me to clean up my house. Well, You've never even been in my home. Yeah, but it sounds like it's messy. You sound like messy people. No, it's not messy. But you can't even find a piece of mail like that was sent to you over a week ago. It was not. I would have it. Then where is it? 
especially if it came from AT&T since I'm a retiree, I definitely know I would have opened it. Oh, well, they didn't put their logo on it. They, they didn't want to be mm-hmm. associated with this. Well, then who is doing this if it's not AT&T? Oh, no, it is AT&T. They're just being extra careful because there's a lot of conspiracy nuts out there trying to set all the fiber lines on fire because they think they cause COVID-19. You're probably one of well, them. Well, I am not one of them. I'm very educated. I have a college degree. Then why are you trying to set fiber lines on fire? Are you kidding me? Didn't you just say you were one of them? No, I did not. I said I am not one of them. Oh, okay. I have a college degree. Well, those those I know better than to do something like that. Okay. Well, you know a lot of those those silly conspiracy guys, they have college degrees too. They still do dumb things like set cell towers on fire. And they have messy houses too. Oh, wow. I hope this is recorded. I really do. Oh, yeah. Everything is recorded for quality control. control. Yeah, I understand that. That's what they used to say. Yeah. Okay. Well, wait, are you saying... I will are be you, calling this number back. Are you saying... And I you, will tell them exactly how you spoke to me because I think it is horrible the disrespect you have shown me. So when you... All I said is I did not want it in my yard and I did not receive a letter. Yeah, you but... You told me to clean up my house. You told me I don't open my mail. You told me that you're going to do it. That's not the way you speak to a customer. Ma'am, I and don't... That's wor- the way you've been trained. I don't work in customer service like you did. Are you saying when you worked in customer service, they said they were recording the calls, but they didn't really? No, they record calls. Okay, because well, you said it like... They basically, like, yeah, we, yeah, they absolutely, for quality control, they basically record calls. So this should all be recorded. Yes, it's all recorded. But you think it's acceptable I know where they keep for you to say to me, I need to clean up my house? I said your damn house, yeah. Because you, you couldn't find the mail. I would have seen the mail if I had received the mail. Okay, I bet your husband threw it away. No, I'm sure he didn't. The mail comes in here and I look at all the mail. Well, except the stuff that he throws away before you see it. It's probably hiding something. Wow, you are something else. Well, this call will be ending and I will be calling this number back. And um, I need to know who you guys are as Okay, yeah, just tell them, you know, my name is Bill. Bill. No, it was Steve Day last time. I was trying to throw you off because I don't want to get in trouble because it sounds like you're just trying to cause, you're just trying to create problems for no reason. No, I am not trying to create. You talk to me totally disrespectful. I just, so, I just suggested that you clean the house so you could find your letter. That's all. No. Well, maybe you better clean up your house. You don't even open all your mail. You think this is the way to speak to someone? I think I feel like we're getting off track. The, the whole thing, like you're going to have less yard work, big manhole cover. It's going to be painted green. Did I tell you that part? Just what I want is a big manhole cover in the middle of my yard. They're going to paint it green. Though. I will go ahead and call this number that you just called me from. I'm sure it's probably not a number that's going to go into a supervisor since you have refused to give me your supervisor's name. No, you didn't ask for my supervisor's name. It's I Ca- most certainly did. It's Carol. And Carol's last name or her code? Gersberms. I don't know her code. She won't let me have it. After can you can you spell her last name? Uh, G E R S E B E R M S. Okay, I will be calling her. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, you know she's on lunch right now. Okay. I guess I'm getting a call back. Here's the problem, though. I don't have my Roland VT3. I can't do the Carol voice. So I don't know what I'm going to do when she calls back, if she calls back, because I sure don't do voices. Oh, look at that. I'm getting a call back right now. I wonder who that could be. Oh, shit. I'm getting two calls, two calls back. Let's, let's pick them up at the same time. Please hold. Okay, your call's transferred. Hello? Yes, who is this? It's Jerry with the city of... I'm calling to see why somebody from this number is calling people to tell them they're going to dig up the front yard and install a manhole cover. Wondering if you can help me with that. Well, I just received a phone call like that. (laughs) Um, Is this a joke? No, it's not a joke on my end, but somebody from is either spoofing your number or... uh, uh, somebody has gotten a hold of your phone and they're representing themselves as the city of so I work for public no, they're actually the representing city. themselves as AT&T which I am a retiree of AT&T 
Oh, he okay. said to me that we sent a letter out to you. I said, I never received a letter. He said, well, maybe you just didn't look at it because it might look like junk mail. Then I said, I can tell you I did not receive a letter. He proceeded to tell me that I need to clean my house up. And if I had a clean house, maybe I'd find the letter. Wow. Somebody's working hard because they've called three other people just with different uh, little harassment type things. But he said his name the day I asked for his employee ID, and he gave me an ID, but it's not one that I'm familiar with. Um, yeah. It's our like initials and then a four-digit code. And a Carol Gershbaum, so he gave me as a supervisor. But I tell you, I've never been so terribly disrespected. Yeah. So. I w- is so you work for AT and T? Is there is there some I'm a way that somebody? I'm a thirty-year retiree. Yeah. Now how? And and it's just my ignorance here. But if if they're able to use this phone number, are they somehow somebody maybe internal to AT and T, kind of spoofing that number and calling people around the city of? No, actually, I have no services with AT and T. And the reason being is I'm not happy with the company. They have basically yeah. sent most of our jo- jobs overseas. And, you know, after 30 years, I, I retired and it was fine. I had plenty of yeah. years to retire with a great pension. Yeah. But um, I don't know how you're going to get this stopped because they're giving your, he said, well, you can just call this number back. Well, you'll yeah. love the manhole in the co- you know, cover in the middle of your yard. I said, you're not getting yeah. on my property. Yeah. So let let me give you my number just so you have it, and if okay. we need to communicate more, we can. It sounds like somebody knows you, and they're using your number somehow. Okay. My name is Jerry. Last name is, and my direct phone number is, and I work for Public Works, so that's why a lot of the calls are coming to me since they're claiming it's sanitary sewer and uh, manhole cover type stuff. So well. any calls. I don't know who they, you know, they may just call City Hall and they're getting forwarded to me. Well, I can tell you, Jerry, what is happening is your number is coming up on my on my husband's cell phone. So when I filed a complaint and said I want to speak to your supervisor, he said, we call us back at this number. Is it coming up with my direct number or what's it? what are they giving you? No, it came up on my phone as the number I just dialed back. What number is that? Just a second, let me look. It's like a five. Six mm-hmm. two four. And that's what it looks like when I called you. Uh, you didn't call me. I called you. No, I just called you. <laughs> oh, you two are confused. I, I I work at the prank call call center. I connected you together. I've just been sitting here listening. That's all. Oh, is that it? Yeah. So t- tell me who you work for. I-, I work at the prank call call center. I'm in India. They they um, sent all the jobs over to us. Okay. Um, as you'll recall, um, you know that lady you're talking to, she's very racist and doesn't like when foreigners have jobs. Oh, it has nothing to do with you being a yes, foreigner. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Very racist. Well, I- very racist. How did you connect us? Because you both just you both called me at the same time, so I just connected the calls together. It, it's standard right. it's standard procedure here at the prank call okay. call center. So help me with how are they? How is this? I, I'm just being silly. Uh, you know, it's it's my job. They pay me to be silly uh, for half the price of Americans. I, I it seems like I'm causing problems. So I promise I won't impersonate your city anymore. I'll, I'll move on to something else. I'll pretend to be true green or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm very sorry for the inconvenience to both of you, though. Well, I appreciate that because the way you spoke to me was totally not acceptable. Yeah, but you have to understand that it's, I'm just working off of a script here. I'm in the call center. A script that says maybe I clean, better clean my house? Yeah, that's, that's one of that the... It tells me that I don't look at my mail and I just throw everything away? They, okay. they, they this, do, they do this ask call us to ending, I'm not going to take care of anyone else's time. If they, anybody gets on my property tomorrow, I will be calling the police. No, no, nobody's going to, like, no, the, the city. I'm has, telling you what I'm doing, just so you truly ma'am, understand. Ma'am, I don't care if you, this is a prank call or stop, not. Stop yelling. This is my property. Stop yelling at me. Stop, I'm, you're being racist. 
I am Indian, okay? No, I'm not. I am an Indian. I don't care if it was who it was that came and tells me they're doing a prank call and they're going to come do this. So, no, I'm not. It sounds like so, you think the AT&T should appropriate today, Indian you, culture. Goodbye. All right, bye, sir. Have a nice day. I promise not to do this anymore. I I don't understand why you're doing it if you're a call center. No, I'm. It's the prank call call center. It's right. a it's a business in India. Well, I mean, it's American based, but but the but the business is designed to prank call people. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. It's uh. I don't know. You should just look it up. I I don't have time to see. I've. I'm, I got to meet my call quota. I really got to go. Well, please stop calling anybody in the city of. Oh no, no, I'm. St- I'll just. I won't. I won't pretend to be you anymore. I don't want to. I don't want to bother the public works department. I'm sorry about that. Thank you. Okay. Bye. I'll, I'll bother the mayor's office. <laughs> wow, that was fun. And am I breaking like wiretapping laws when I do that? Like when I connect two people together and I don't say anything and I just sit there. I'm seriously curious about that. Because the one party state thing, you know, that says that one person on the line has to be aware of the recording. And up until the end, I wasn't really a participant in that call. I just connected them together. But I'm pretty sure since I became a participant that everything's fine. I have nothing to worry about. I'm just curious, really, though. That was fun, though. I can't believe they both called me back at the exact same time. That was so perfect. And since that public works guy said that I need to cut it out, I think that's my cue to end this show. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a short show. I've been doing calls for about an hour, but it looks like there's a bunch of blank space in there, maybe. So this could be a little bit shorter than usual. But I think I'm going to do voicemails now, assuming I can make all of the audio things go. So let's give it a try. Let's listen to a few voicemails. Hey, Brad. It's Patrick. Hey. From Illinois. Hi. You you were just here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed your trip, and I hope it was a... Safe one. How, how do you know I'm that? I'm wondering though, like, what are you known for, man? Because I'm from Illinois. We don't have funny accents. We don't have things that are associated with our, our mannerisms. I'm on the I mean, other accents, end. Have accents. I'm what? in I'm in Southern Illinois. I'm nowhere near where you are, where I think you are, anyway. What do we have? Or maybe you are. I don't know. We got nothing. Uh, we do called we do call uh, grilled cheese sandwiches cheese toasties. I was openly mocked for that when I was in the army. I have never heard that. A, a cheese toasty. That's a first. While I was in the mess hall, but anyway, hope you're having a, a, a good Monday. Hang in there, kid. It's an okay Monday. Stay safe. Make good choices. Bye. I hope they kicked your ass for calling those toasties. Hi, RB. It's Dal. I haven't called in like a year and a half. I don't but care. you know, I've been hearing about you know all about your Patreon and stuff, and I realized the only people that I'm really supporting are porn artists. So I fig- I figured I'd. You know, maybe I'd support the show and, and become a patron. Why are you supporting um, So artists? when I get off of work today, I, you know, I will make sure to do that. And on top of that, I was hoping that I could get more stickers from my race car because okay. I got a new one and all the other stickers that you sent me are gone. So that's okay, why you're calling. Well, okay, Harvey. <laughs> After a year, you're calling back just to get some stickers. I see how it is. You might want to email me, though. And that reminds me, uh, some people have actually ordered stickers from me off of the Bandcamp page, and I haven't sent those out yet because I've been uh, a little busy this month. But I did bring stickers with me to Illinois. I've been meaning to do that these past couple weeks. Every time I come here, I just think I'm going to have tons of time, and it never works out that way. But I really do hope to do that here uh, this week, maybe. Get some of these stickers all put in envelopes and mailed out. Somebody emailed me yesterday about stickers because they ordered stickers, and I've just been ignoring them. Sorry, everyone. I'm really behind on the emails, as usual, whenever I leave Oregon. Lumberjack Pat here. I hadn't had a laugh in over a week. Oh, no. And I happened to catch something from Dwight that I thought was ten times as funny. Make this quick. Okay. He just said, I will put in a sit and wait order. And they said, what's a sit and wait order? And he goes, well, that's just where you sit and wait and hope you're... (laughs) Anyway... What? It's an idea. It sure as hell gave me a hell of a chuckle, and I mean, it's hard to make me laugh. What? So, c- cactus, cactus, that was if a... there's something you can do, it made me laugh, but... Okay, alright. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut off your voicemail. I'm playing these off of a cell phone, and I don't know how cell phones work. And were you asking if that was my idea that I gave to Dwight? Because I don't even get it. Yeah, and I'm, uh... <clears throat> 
I'm Stalter from uh, the Hotel Pennsylvania, and I was just wondering if you were uh, going to be attending Hope this year in oh, any shit. virtual form. Forgot about Hope. Uh, Oops. Or if maybe you would be on the radio or something. Nah. Or, I don't know. If I don't know. invite me, sure. I, I mean, I got my ticket. I'm a, maybe slightly disappointed that it's virtual, but, you know. I'm still looking forward to. Oh uh, shit! It's virtual. You know, I've had my own virtual hopes. Holy uh, crap! <laughs> so to speak. I uh, didn't even think of that. Hope is canceled shit. this year. That sucks. Free time. Uh, you know. Yeah. Uh. Uh. I just wondering what your thoughts are on the virtual hope or uh, anything like that. Yeah, I don't. I haven't. Like, I I know nothing about Hi. this. I don't know how hope is doing things. But apparently it's going to be virtual this year. I'm glad this wasn't the year that I finally was able to go to Hope. Because that would have been disappointing. Hey, Harvey, ah. it's Jihad. Guess where I'm calling from. Jihad. That's right. A payphone and oh, a campground shit. outside Mackinac, Michigan. This is so crazy and I'm taking a selfie right now. What are you doing at a campground? Wow. Like trolling for men? <laughs> payphone sounds like shit. And he hung up and there's like... 10 seconds of silence and I'm betting this next call is also from Jihad because it's the same area code. Hey Harvey, it's Jihad again. That was so crazy. I just called you from a payphone at a campground not, not, outside not that crazy. Michigan. Jihad. That is so freaking crazy. It's crazy, Anyways, isn't it? now you got that number that's just sitting here and you could probably call it and I'm not sure if it rings or not. Oh, I... I have fun with that if it does. Deleted it. And uh, I'll send you my selfie. Ooh. Oh yeah, he did send me a selfie on Skype of him talking on a payphone. And none of you get to see it because I already have the show art picked out for today. Oh well, sorry Jihad. I'm a dick. I'm just going to play a couple more of these and then we're going to finish up today's show. Hey Brad, it's Brando from Florida. Hey. Do you remember the Ohio-based rap group, Positive Attitude? I do. You played them on the show before and I called a long time ago because I was trying to figure out their name. And you didn't remember either. What? So, I know Positude. Do you remember them? What are you talking about? Yes and no. Yeah. Bye, Brad. I've played them recently. It's the Killing My Boner people. Maybe you were just describing a song or something, and I didn't know what song you were talking about. But yeah, I definitely know who Positive Attitude is. I think I've played them on this show this year. Hey, Brad. It's Sensei Paul from Ohio. Hey, First Sensei time Paul. First a long-time listener. All I gotta say is to that one stupid lady... From a few episodes ago, who's being a dick to you about being a dick to your colors? She can shut the fuck up. Stick to my colors. Fuck yourself. What? And uh, go back to the kitchen. You know, it's uh, been so I long. Say, love you, honey, baby. Thanks. Uh, see you later. Since Bye. Paul. Yeah, it's been so long since I did the last snowplow show that had voicemails in it. I guess you're talking about voicemails. I can't remember what she said. Was there a big complaint against me? I know someone else sent me an email and he complained that I wasn't political enough because, you know, I was saying that I, I'm not qualified to vote because I don't know shit about politics and that's just the way it is. What am I supposed to do? And he's like, I can't support you anymore. I've been a supporter forever and I'm discontinuing my support because you need to be more political on your prank call show. I don't know why I'm bringing that up. I just like, you know, you're saying a lady is complaining about something on my show. I think I'm done playing voicemails, though. Uh, there's a shitload of them in here. I need to catch up one of these years. Somebody suggested that I do a voicemail-only show, which, uh, maybe, I don't, just because of the amount of voicemails that's in here right now, maybe I'll do that. It's probably been, like, three weeks since I've even looked at the voicemails. So be looking for an extra long voicemail segment one of these days, probably when I get back to Oregon. Thank you, everybody, for listening to the show today. I'm glad I was able to finally do a full, proper show. And it was all because of Kuraz, Ryan B., The Real Crazy Kraz, Sean S., and Jared M. Thanks, everybody, for supporting the show at patreon.com slash phone losers. Remember to give me some advice on Patreon alternatives if you know of any. I will do at least a hobo show this week, but hopefully more than just that. And hopefully things will be back to normal here pretty soon when I start driving back to Oregon. Thanks, everybody, for hanging in there with me while I'm not doing a lot of shows. I will see you all next time. I'm going to end today's show with a song from this one band that I know and have always known of for many years now. They're called Positive Attitude, or Positude for short. And I kind of like them. This is a song about the Atari 2600.
Uh, you didn't call me. I called you. No, I just called you.